Hi, I'm Greg Murray. In my last video, I showed you how to download and install DaVinci Resolve 18.6. Now, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use DaVinci Resolve 18.6. So the first thing we need to do is take this icon and attach it to our taskbar down here so it's easy to open and close. Right click on it. If you're using Windows 11, you'll want to show more options. If you're using Windows 10, this will already be open. And you'll want to click on pin to taskbar. So now there it is on the taskbar. We can move that icon over to the left here. And we can take this and throw it in the garbage can. We don't need it anymore. We simply want to left click on the icon one time. And then be patient. Because if it's the first time you've opened this program, it's going to take a while to open because it's such a huge program. Okay, now it's open. Now what we're going to do is start out by opening a new project. And we're going to name this project Trust in the Lord 4. Okay, anytime DaVinci Resolves open up, it opens in cut. I don't know why they do that, but I never use cut and I never use media. But I do use edit, so I'll click on the edit. Now, with the first time you open DaVinci Resolve, you may not see anything but this. So we need to see the media pool. We need to see the effects. And we need to see the inspector. Those are the things that you really need. Now, while we're here, right click in the media pool. Left click on import media. Now, I have all these files in the description below. You can use all of these in this particular tutorial to help you along. Or you can make your own. We're gonna use all of them. So we're gonna click on one, and then on the keyboard, click Control A to access all, and then click open. Now they're all there. Now because they're all highlighted, we need to click anywhere on the page. Now they're nothing highlighted. So the first thing I wanna do is put my music down here. So put my music down here and drop it down one more, maybe two more places. So it's three audio tracks here. Well, the next thing I wanna do is, now I could play from here by clicking on this icon, the play button. And I can stop it by doing this, or I can play by clicking the space bar on the keyboard, and I can stop it by clicking once again the space bar. Like that, you can hit home button on your keyboard or you can just take it and drag it back with your mouse. Now, I want to make a mark where I want the, my vocal audio to start, starting with the music. Now, the music is established at that point right there. Now, I need to bring in my first part, 26 Greg. Bring that on the first audio level. And now it sounds like this from the beginning. I can hit home. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Notice the music is too loud. If I come down here to the music with my cursor on the music, notice the cursor changes to two arrows. The up arrow is for more volume. The down arrow is for lesser volume. So now we'll get down to just a little softer. And then hit home and play. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Okay, that's fine for me, but I want to lower it just a little more. And now home. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Okay, that works for me. Next, I'll need a close. So I use my wife's voice here, Lauren, in the second track. It's closed. Now, I need to increase my view strength here. So I need to bring, notice that this is highlighted and now this is highlighted. I need to bring this one over to a little closer to my voice. And I'll put the cursor here and play. He shall direct your paths. God is love. Okay, it was nice and tight. Now I need to zoom out because I need to bring this music. Now if you put the cursor back here at the end, it either changes to this funny looking fast forward looking thing, or it, ch it changes into this gate or cut. I don't know what it's called, I'm sorry. We just wanna drag it with the left mouse button to the end of Lauren's voice. So it sounds like this at the end. 
morning. Blessings. Stay safe. Okay. I want this to fade out at the end. So I want to increase it. In the uh, as zoom in, I want to zoom in and come over to audio transitions. Click on audio transitions. Let's take the last one. Crossfade to zero dB. Bring it down and just touch it right there in that back part there. And now put the cursor here and play. Blessings. Stay safe. Okay. Now, the audio is done. My audio version is done. So let's just zoom out to bring it all in play and put this at the beginning and... Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. God is love and we are of God. The heavens declare the glory of a merciful and gracious God. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. Good morning. Blessings. Stay safe. Okay, the audio is fine. Home. And now my cursor is back at the beginning. Now what I need to do is add my video. I want to start with this video here. Now notice there's no, no audio for this video. I intentionally have this piece with no audio. So I want to put it on the bottom of all the videos that I have going on. Because this will be the background. Now because it doesn't, you can't move it because that's as long as it is. The video is what the video is. I need it to, to get to the end of here. So what I need to do is highlight it, bring the cursor to the end of it. And while it's highlighted, I'll hit control C and then control V as in Victor twice. Now it's too long. The, the whole idea is I wanted it to be long enough. Now it's too long. Let me bring the cursor over here. And then at the back of it, I'll just bring it over to where it lines up. So now, if I hit home and play. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Okay, that's good for now. Bring this back to the beginning. And now I want to add the rose, the flower. Put that on top. Bring it to the very beginning. Now the rose is a... A single image I can stretch that out to as long as I want it to be but notice it's in the center of the picture I don't want it to be in the center of the frame I want it to be over here to the left so I'll highlight the rows and come over here into the inspector and in the position X I just slide hold them left mouse button down and slide it over to where I want it to be next I want to put the name of the rows here and the verse that we're reading from here. So now we need to add a title and we'll use title plus. Bring it over, bring it to the end so you have nothing to interfere with it. And then just hold the left mouse button down while you move it up. And now it's over here at the beginning. Now let's make it as long as it can be. And you notice the title, the custom title is in the middle of the screen. I need it to be down here just the way I need it to be. So while that's highlighted, this is your text. Come over here to the inspector under title. Highlight it and put in rows. I'll give it some spaces. And then I'll put in the name of the verse, which in this case is... It's in, the, it's in the description below. You can find it. Next, right here next to rows, I need to put in to my text and finding the scripture, which is Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. I can close this. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. As you see, this is pretty big. It's not going to fit right here, right? Well, first thing I want to do is I want to make this thick so it can be seen clearly if I make it smaller. So I'll come over here. While it's highlighted, I'll come over here and I'll change this from semi-bold to extra bold. See what it did? It made it really thick and bold. But I need to move it over. So 
I'll come up to settings and position over. Hey, it won't fit. So there are two things that I can do, two ways of attacking this. One is I can attack it by doing the zoom here, or I can go back to title and change the size of it. I think it's better to change the size of it. It all fits, but I want the rows to be here and I want Proverbs to be over here. So I go back to settings and I go to the position X, move it over, go back to title, put the cursor here and add some spaces with the space bar. Go back to settings and over here on the Y, pull it down. So now that's about good right there. You see, I want to leave space underneath this in case somebody's using a lower third underneath it. They'll have space. So now we have our rows and our Bible scripture version right here. Now we need to put the scripture here. So let's go to our text file, open it up, and we'll highlight all the text. Actually, first we want to make this here. And then highlight it all. Control C to copy. We can minimize it. And then we come here and we get a text. I'm sorry, a title. A text title. Bring it over to the end, move it up, and bring it all the way over to the beginning. Take it all the way to the end, highlight it, go to title, and under custom title, highlight it, and then control V. Put the cursor anywhere here, and then hit home. Now we're at the very beginning of our text. Now we want to put that text right here. So what we need to do is come here, trust in the Lord with all your, come to your, hit enter, and then go to on, enter, go to in, enter, him, enter, paths, enter, R, enter, Claire, enter, merciful and, enter, shine, enter, good morning. Okay, you see none of that's fitting. None of it is fitting. But first, I want to change it from semi-bold to extra bold. And then I want to change the size, take the size down to where it may fit. And then go back to settings and to position over to the right. And now everything fits. The problem is text is getting lost right here because it's white on white sand. So we need to change the color of this text. So let's go to title, click on color, and find a color that we like. Let's move this a little, around a little bit. Let's click on pick screen color. Now, wherever our cursor is, we'll change wherever our cursor is, whatever color is behind that cursor, we'll send that text to that color. So we'll click here. That works for me. And click OK. Now our text is in place. Let's play it from the beginning. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. God is love and we are of God. The heavens declare the glory of a merciful and gracious God. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. Good morning. Blessings. Stay safe. Okay. Now, I see some, I see some things that have to be tweaked here. For example, it's finished, but instead of seeing nothing, we see the background. So we need to go down to the background, which is here. Let's zoom in. See how the none of these are lining up with each other? 
It's because when we zoomed in before, somewhere along the way, we didn't get them all together right. So let's just get them all together here now. We'll put them on the last piece we have, which is the audio, the music at the begin at the end. Put it there. Bring this over against the cursor. Use your mouse wheel. Scroll up. And now it all fits right. The only problem is we can still see it. So we need to put some fades in here. So we go up to video transition, go to cross dissolve, put it here. Cross dissolve, put it here. And the reason it looks like it's so big is because we're zoomed in so far, but that's okay. That'll work out for us in this, in, in just a second. Put another cross dissolve here and another cross dissolve here. Now, you see how far we are it zoomed in? We're zoomed in really high. So let's zoom out. See what happened now? So now we put the cursor here and play. Blessings. Stay safe. It all worked out at the end. But at the beginning, it starts out where we can see it. We don't want to see it at the beginning. So we need to do those same cross dissolves at the beginning here 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 and here so now it's at the beginning we click, put the cursor here and hit home we're at the beginning now watch when we play it by hitting the space bar trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths god is love and we are of god the heavens declare the glory of a merciful and gracious God. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. Good morning. Blessings. Stay safe. Okay. The only problem I see with this now is right here. Rose and the Bible verse are too big. So let me go in here and fix that. So we come up here and we find it's right here. This is the one. We highlight it. It shows us right here that it's there. So we go here and we make it smaller. Make the smaller size. About there. We put the cursor here and give us some spaces. And that's good right there. This thing is done. It's finished. Now what we want to do is deliver it. Deliver it means render. Render. So everything fits, everything is right. We hit deliver and we come over to the top and we name this the same as it is here. Trust in the Lord. And we come down here and the format we want to use, we could just hit this little uh, icon right here for YouTube, but that limits us to what YouTube's uh, best quality is. I want it better than that. So, I'll come down here and change it from QuickTime to MP4. And that's the only thing I need to change here. Everything else is right. The thing is, it's set to 60 frames per second. So that's good. That's best. So now, everything is all set. It's named. So now let's render it. We click Add to Render Queue. Now it's going to tell us to send it to whatever folder we want it to be in. I want it to be in this video folder and then click save and now right here render all once we click that render all it's doing its thing and this is the fiesta resistance it takes so long to do this in adobe premiere pro it took no time at all to do this in davinci resolve so when we're done now we can close davinci resolve and we can open this, go to the video, and the name of it is Trust in the Lord. So we double click on it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. God is love and we are of God. 
The heavens declare the glory of a merciful and gracious God. May His face shine upon you and give you peace. Good morning. Blessings. Okay. Stay safe. I see a problem right here. I saw a problem. So now we go back and we open DaVinci Resolve once again. I made a mistake. So I'll fix that mistake. Double click here. And go back to edit. Scroll up. Here's where the problem is. His face shines. Now that's all I needed to do to fix that. Now it's fixed. Now I'll go back to deliver. Once again, I have to put in trust in the Lord. But this time we'll say two. Everything else is the same. The whole idea is when you're watching it back is to look for imperfections because now is the time to fix it. Close it and then open up two. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. God is love and we are of God. The heavens declare the glory of a merciful and gracious God. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. Good morning. Blessings. Stay safe. That's it. It's complete. I hope this was able to teach you a little bit about how to edit with DaVinci Resolve. There is so much more that you can do with DaVinci Resolve, but this is a start. It's the basics. And there are so many tutorials on YouTube that can teach you everything you need to know about using DaVinci Resolve. You'll love it. If you found this video helpful, please do me a favor and click on like and subscribe button. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell icon so that every time I post a new video, you'll know about it as soon as I post it. I'm Greg Murray. Thanks for watching.